Hi, I'm Gary White for Central Kentucky Television. I'm here with Abby Van Meter, who is with the Nelson County Extension Office. And today, we're making red, white, and blueberry muffins. That's Very right. patriotic. Yeah, so this is a great summer. You could do it for breakfast or as a dessert. You know, it's a little sweet and has some fruit in it, so yep. it's a and it's, it's in your it's in your calendar for the 2015 food and nutrition calendar which is put out by the UK extension offices you can get a copy of the recipe there and uh, check out and try and make these yeah. yourself so it does it has strawberries and blueberries and blueberries okay. yes Ooh, well so I'm that's a little ruining your stuff <laughs> that's okay so it's patriotic and a little healthy with the fruit in there too so absolutely yeah. are we gonna make them like stars no we're not gonna make okay. them fancy <laughs> like the stars today but you could right, exactly if you, you had so a choose. <laughs> star muffin pan then that would be a added uh, exactly. added bonus okay so let's right. get started okay so first we have a large bowl so we're gonna put together our eggs so we're gonna have one egg So we have our egg, and then we need, let's see here, milk. So we have a half a cup of skim milk. Make sure it's skim, because that's yes. a healthier option. Healthier option. Then we have our half a cup of non-fat yogurt, which is also a healthier option. Mm -hmm. So the yogurt kind of gives it that creamy taste without the added fat of like a butter or something. Absolutely. That makes the nutritionist happier. Right? That's right. <laughs> All right. So now we're going to do three tablespoons of canola oil. So you still have a little bit of oil in it, but not, mm -hmm. not so much. And canola is better? It is a healthier oil. Healthier. Um, it's a vegetable oil, so it's mm -hmm. not as high in the saturated fats, which can clog our arteries up. All right. And then we have lemon zest. So do you know what lemon zest is? Tastes good. <laughs> so it is the it is the um, peeling of a lemon or the skin of a lemon. So you mm -hmm. grate it, kind of like you okay. would grate cheese, uh -huh. and it kind of gives it a lemon flavor without it being too yeah. overpowering. Okay, so you're actually getting the outside. The, you get uh, the outside skin. of the skin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna whisk that together and create a little liquid mixture here. Yeah, because sometimes lemon can be overpowering if it you can. use the actual yeah, juice, Yeah, if you I use guess. the juice, then it kind of makes it runny and just real sour. Mm -hmm. But the zest gives it the flavor, but not the bitter and tartness, so. That's good. Yeah. So we're going to have lemons in here, we're going to have strawberries, we're going to have blueberries. There's lots of fruit. Yeah, lots of fruit. Very good. I like fruit in the summer. I think it kind of, mm -hmm. it's cool and, yeah. It's light. Okay, so we have our liquid here. All right, so now we're going to take this bowl. And we're going to put two cups of all-purpose flour. Now, I think you could probably use some wheat flour in here to make it even healthier, but okay. the recipe didn't call for it, so we're going to stick to the regular white flour. Um, a half a cup of sugar. Mm -hmm. So not too much sugar for a, you know, a big thing of muffins. Right. Well, you're going to get some sugar out of the Out of the fruit. fruit well, it's right? naturally sweet. Um, baking powder. So four teaspoons of baking powder. And then a half a teaspoon of salt. And then you're going to stir that up. So you kind of do your wet ingredients and then your dry ingredients. Okay. Mix them all together Mix before you combine them. Mix them all together. Very good. Yeah. And again, this is the red, white, and blueberry muffins recipe that is in the 2015 Food and Nutrition Calendar. That's right. Okay, so now we're going to pour this over the liquid. Don't dump it all at once. Kind of let it just kind of soak into it because it's going to be a pretty thick batter whenever we're done. And then with a fork, you just want to stir it around very lightly. You don't want to over stir it and just make it all kind of mixed together. Okay. So it'll be kind of thick. So like when they talk about, you see a recipe and it says something like, sometimes it'll be stir or whatever. Sometimes mm -hmm. they just talk about folding and stuff right. like that. We're going to fold in here in just a minute. Oh, okay. We're going to oh, fold our that. fruit in. <laughs> So that's a technique. That is a technique. Okay. Yeah. So this is just kind of a gentle stir and mix all the dry ingredients in with the wet. Okay. This is a combined. Yes. <laughs> We're going to get to the folding here in just a minute. Okay. So when they say that, is that so that you don't possibly hurt or damage the fruit? Or yes. So a lot like of times that. that'll be with fruits or maybe chocolate chips or nuts or anything that you oh, okay. kind of want to maintain their shape. Um, especially if you're using the blueberries, they'll... Um, mm -hmm. They'll kind squeeze. of pop or squeeze, mm -hmm. and then you'll have just the juice. So I like blueberries. Yeah, they're they're good. Okay. And I was saying before, I think we did a recipe that had blueberries in it. 
Was that here? One of them. Was we it did here? strawberries last strawberries. time when we were saying we could add blueberries to uh, okay. it. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then in Washington County, they had this green festival not uh -huh. too long ago. And they somebody over there has blueberry trees for oh, sale. Oh, wow. So you can actually grow them grow locally. Them locally. So it's another yeah. local thing. And yeah. a lot of this stuff, strawberries you can get locally. Yes. I don't know if it's that time, right. but if it is. It's about the end of that season, so you okay. might be able to catch a few. At the farmer's market. Yes, so you can definitely. get some of, those, some of them locally. Yeah. Okay. So now we are going to um, fold in our strawberries and blueberries. So you can pour them all in. And then what, whenever you fold something, you take, it's best to use a plastic spatula. Okay. And you go from the bottom around and then up to the top. So you just kind of fold it into the dough. Okay. And so you, you have to be careful not to, you don't want to squish stir them. it and mm -hmm. squish them all in. And just right. get them evenly dispersed. It looks good. Yeah. It does look patriotic, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> and it looks hearty, actually. I mean, yeah. there's a lot of. There's a lot of, they're a pretty stuff dense in there. muffin, yeah. so, yeah. you know, it would be a good. I think it would be good for breakfast or even mm -hmm. a dessert, you know, at a cookout or something. Yes, and obviously we're, we're recording this one in June, but uh, July 4th is going to be coming up. Yeah. And you might have a long weekend, potentially. So you can make some of these muffins and take them for a cookout or something of that nature. Yeah. All right, so it's all folded in. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to put the batter into muffin tins. I lined these just because it's easier. That way they don't stick. If you don't have any muffin liners, you can just spray it with some cooking spray and it'll do just the same. So we're going to go in and put those in here. See. Now, how many uh, muffins should this batter make? This makes make? 12 muffins. So, um, okay. so it makes, you know, quite a bit. And like you said, they are pretty dense and yeah. hearty. So I think one would be, you know, a good... Yeah, absolutely. A good snack for somebody. And if you don't have your 2015 food and nutrition calendar, you can get a copy of it uh, at the section offices, but it is getting kind of late, so you want to yeah. make sure that whether they still have them or not. Yes, we have plenty <laughs> here. Today. Okay. So, um, and, you know, just because it's halfway through the year, the recipes are good right. all the time. So absolutely. They're really a good tool to have. Yeah. Oh, and our recipe today is one of the ones on the cover. It is. So mm -hmm. it must be extra good then. <laughs> exactly. All right. So we've had some in the batter. So now we're going to make the topping. Okay. So the topping to kind of give it a sugary, crunchy topping is sugar, cinnamon, and then um, chopped pecans. Ooh. If you don't like pecans or if you're allergic, of course, you can just leave them out. It'll be, I like pecans. It'll be fine. Um, so you're going to take, let's see, three tablespoons of sugar. So there's a little bit more sugar. Two tablespoons of chopped pecans. And if you wanted them finer, you know, you could grate them or put them in a food processor, really whatever you prefer. And then just a fourth of a teaspoon of cinnamon. So not a lot of cinnamon. Let's see here. And then you're going to stir it up. Kind of gives it that cinnamon sugar, little streusel, mm -hmm. streusel topping. That sounds good. Yeah. All right. Do you like pecans? I do like pecans. So do I. Yeah. Do you put that on before you cook it? You do put it on before you cook oh, it. Oh, okay. So we're going to sprinkle it on top. And if you wanted some more topping, if you wanted it, you know, extra crispy at the top, you could always add more. Okay. Just kind of whatever you prefer. Yeah. Very so. good. All right. Ready to put them in the oven. Yes. How long do we cook them for? We cook them at 400 degrees for about 25 to 30 minutes. Okay. Well, we'll be right back to show you what you're going to end up with. Yeah. 